Welcome to our lecture online. To get a better idea of what the results of the solutions are for the circuit that we looked at in the previous video, where we got the current as a function of time and the voltage as a function of time, let's go ahead and set up a table of values and graph it on the graph. So, starting with the current, when time is equal to zero, the cosine of zero is one, so we have a current of 10 amps. When time equals pi, 0.5 times pi, that's pi over 2, the cosine of that is 0, so we have 0 current. When, pi, when time is 2 pi times 0.5, which is pi, the cosine of pi is negative 1, so we get negative 10. And so you can see that this becomes 0, and that becomes 10 again. Now for the voltage, when time equals 0, sine of 0 is 0, so we have 0 voltage. When time is pi, 0.5 pi, that's pi over 2, that sine of that is 1, so we get minus 100. And then you can see the oscillation, that goes to 0, plus 100, and back to 0. So now let's go ahead and graph the voltage, and then graph the current. So we start out with time equals 0, the voltage is 0. Then with time equals pi, the voltage is negative 100. Then back to 0, then positive 100, Oop, a little higher, there we go and then back to zero. So when we connect those dots, we get something that looks like this. Like that. Okay, now let's graph the current in red. So we have the current. We go from positive 10 amps to negative 10 amps. So now we're dealing with the current right here. Okay, when time equals zero, we have a current of 10 amps, so we're up here. Then we go to zero, then we go to negative 10, here back to zero and back up to positive 10 so it looks like this so what can we conclude from this result well it turns out that if we take a look at the curves notice that the voltage reaches the maximum first and then the current follows and there's a time difference of pi seconds so we can see that the difference between the maximum of the voltage and the maximum of current that's a delta t and that's equal to pi seconds, like this. And so we can say that the voltage leads the current by a time difference of pi seconds. And that is the way the circuit is set up. And that is how it's done. Well, yeah, it, it's easier to tell on this end than it is on this end. That's why I skipped this part. And so you can see, it's always nicer to look at when the maximum occurs, and you can see that the maximum of the voltage occurs before the maximum of the current. It's easier to see that way. Forget the other part of the curve. It follows. You can see that the minimum of the voltage leads the same with the same amount as the minimum of the current. So you can kind of look at that that way as well. <laughs>